I'm Adil Kumar and in this video we'll identify different kinds of angles when we are given parallel and transverse lines. So here's a diagram which we need to refer to and we need to name an angle complementary to angle BCA. So BCA, this angle, right? Name an angle complementary to angle AED, AED, right? Then name an angle supplementary to EDC, EDC. Name a corresponding angle to angle CDE, CDE, this angle. Name a corresponding angle to DEC, DE and C. Name an alternate angle to angle AED. Correct? So likewise, we could have many different combinations. Now, just to give you some practice, we have this question here, and I hope that really helps. Now, before we begin with, what are complementary angles? So, complementary angles are those which form 90 degree kind of. Do you understand? So, complementary angles are those whose combination could make 90 degrees, kind of like this, right? How about supplementary angles? Supplementary angles will be those which form kind of a line. So, that should help you to, to find the answer. Corresponding angles are the angles. If I have two parallel lines cut by a transverse line, these two are parallel, then the corresponding angles we are talking about will be like these positions. Do you understand? These are corresponding positions, right? Well, it could be these also. Uh, you understand? Because vertically opposite is kind of. So they have similar positions with respect to the line and the transverse line, correct? Parallel network. How about the alternate angles? Now, alternate angles will be the ones which are kind of like this. So either this and this. This is the interior alternate or we could do this and this, right? So exterior alternate. So these are alternate angles. Now as you must have seen now that the corresponding angles form F pattern. That is the F pattern, right? F pattern. So it could be this way also, right? Let me draw one here also. So you see F pattern here. So that is for a corresponding angle. And as far as the alternate angle is concerned, we are looking for a Z pattern. So Z pattern gives you alternate angles, correct? So that should help you to clearly identify the angles. You can now pause the video, answer the question, and look into my suggestions, right? Let's begin by finding complementary angle to angle BCA. BCA, now that's a very tricky question. If you see, the triangle ABC is 90 degrees, correct? If triangle ABC is 90 degrees, in that case, sum of angle A and C should also be 90 because total angle is 180. You get my point. So, so complementary angle in this case will be for BCA, BAC. So it is angle BA. C. That was probably the most difficult question in this set, right? So, combination of these two angles should give you 90 degrees. We have a similar one here, which says, name the angle complementary to AED. A, E, and D. This angle. Now, what is complementary to this one? If you see these two lines are parallel, then you will observe that this angle 90 should also be equal to this angle 90. These are corresponding angles. Now that forms a linear pair, so this side is also 90, correct? So, complementary to angle AED is AEB. So this one is AEB. You get the idea, right? So that is how we find it. Extremely difficult question, right? Now, Easy ones are here now. Name an angle supplementary to EDC. That means forming a straight line. E, D, C, and that's the straight line. A, D, E is the angle, right? So angle is A, D, 
CDE. Perfect. CDE, we want corresponding angle. That means F pattern. CDE. C, D, and E, right? So just go further ahead. So you get C, A, B. That should work, correct? So C, A, B. So C, D, E, and angle C, A, B, correct? That becomes corresponding angle. So what we are saying is that C, D, E, that means this angle, and this whole angle, they will be equal. Is it okay? And they are corresponding angles. Then the corresponding angle to D, E, C. D, E, and C. Going to that place, we know that is same as A, B, C. Okay, so this is angle A, B, C. Now we are looking into alternate angle to A, E, D. So A, E, D forms a Z pattern, right? So these two are parallel lines, right? So these two are parallel lines. So as you can see, the Z pattern is right there. So this angle and this angle are equal. Is that okay? So that means angle B, A, E. Correct? So likewise, we could identify such angles. Correct? So I would like you to go through this video. Understand how especially we got the complementary and supplementary angles in this particular case. I am Adil Kumar and I hope that helps you to understand the concept about parallel and transverse lines. Thank you and all the best.